opened in 1914. We're at Davis Wade Stadium, the second oldest Division 1A football stadium in the country. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Excellent kick. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Hands off left, and they got him behind the line. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss, but this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Tackle made around the 30-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And he's level at the 25-yard line. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Rodgers sets up the play action. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. First and 10, ball on the 44. He's on the run. Brought down right around the 34. Tackle at the 33-yard line. Not much there for the halfback, but he picked up some tough yardage. Well, nothing fancy here. The back did a nice job of putting his head down and getting the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Gets out to about the 31. He's at the 20. And he's tackled at the 10-yard line. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. From the 10-yard line, it's first down. Nice run there. Marks gains about four yards on the play. Down, down. 
He'll get the call again. That's a great tackle at the five-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Nice tackle there from the freshman coming down from his position at safety and making a solid tackle on the ball carrier. And this play is number eight on the drive. Caught end zone for the touchdown. That'll be a big boost. You always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations, and that pass was an excellent call. And he adds the extra point. So that's an eight-play, 58-yard drive. And the result, seven points. So our score, 7-0. Mississippi State gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the one. At the 30. Tackle at the 31. Mississippi State's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They'll get him for a loss. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. From their own 29-yard line, second down. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. from their own 45-yard line. First down. And he's taken down at the 47-yard line. McClellan comes away with two yards on the carry. Well, those are the kind of hits that'll take some miles off a ball carrier. Scrambling around. Slides down. And he has a huge gain. Yeah, and I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. And they make the stop at the 32. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. Throws it, and it's tipped away. There was not a soul open there. He threw into double coverage because it was an obvious passing down, and the defense knew the pass was coming. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Mississippi State is up by a touchdown. Runs outside for a nice game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Right 
Again with the run. Nice gain as he works the right side. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Setting up blockers, a running back's got it on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds at the 42. First and 10, ball on the 42. And he tackles him hard at the 40-yard line. Mississippi State up seven points. And a quick throw. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Fires out to his wideout, and they push him out around the 28-yard line. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. We've got a first and 10, ball on the 28. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. One-yard loss for the halfback. This is the 10th play of this drive. Big opening. They'll bring him down at the 16-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. Runs it right. Nice pickup. This is the 12th play of this drive. Gets to about the 8-yard line. And that'll do it. Very good first quarter of action. The Bulldogs with a touchdown lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Mississippi State is up a score. They run it for the first, and he stops. Loss of one there for the halfback. It's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Mississippi State is hoping to make this a two-score game. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Brooks takes it at the four. Across the 30. Oh, it's the kicker that comes up with a tackle. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there.
from the 37 yard line first down Kirk good news the guy that we saw go to the locker room with that injury earlier is back on the sideline and I got to bet he's going to be back in the game soon handoff and he's met immediately so the halfback loses about two on the run another run nice run to the outside third down and they need to get it to the 27 under pressure and they got him I think that one's on the offensive line they've got to do a better job of holding their blocks or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 24-yard line. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 24-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 33. And he is drilled at the 35-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 35. Pitch left. He gets hit out of bounds around the 47 yard line. He might have a chance. He's at the 30, and they bring him down at the 24. It's first and ten. Ball on the 24. Tackle made around the 24-yard line. down at the 23. This is the eighth play of this drive. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And down he goes around the 17-yard line. They'll call on the field goal unit here. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line. Brought down at the 26-yard line. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession.
tackle at the 27. From their own 27 yard line, it's second down. Pass is caught, the defense lays him out. He's got it out to his tight end. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 47. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he's tackled right away. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. First and 10, ball on the 35-yard line. There's a strike complete, and he's down. Straight run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. And he's level at the 16. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he's tackled after positive yardage. McClellan gets seven yards on the play. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. They'll get a first down there on the play with the run from the tailback. He knew where he had to go to get the first down, and he got there. Nice run. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Here's the 11th play of the drive. It's a great call here inside the five-yard line. The defense took away the quarterback, a great read, and the tailback ends up in the end zone for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. An 11-play, 73-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So the score now, 13-7. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Mississippi State up six. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. From their own 41 yard line. First down. Oh 
Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 43 yard line. First and 10, ball on the 43. And he's taken down at the 33-yard line. They complete the slant. Good for 10. Mississippi State is going to use their first time out of the half here. Quick strike, and he drops it. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. He's on the run. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Inside handoff. He's at the 20, and they make the stop right around the 16-yard line. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. From the 16-yard line, it's first down. Mississippi State with a six-point lead. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. Pressured and brought down. Throws to the tight end, and that falls incomplete. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. It has the distance, and he nails the long field goal. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Young fields it at the two. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. And the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. They'll bring him down right around the 40. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He wants it all. Certainly not what we expected as we head to halftime. 16-7, Mississippi State. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back for their offense. Uh, absolutely. you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, Defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves the second half. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call.
Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. He's taken down around the 20-yard line. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Nice run there. Marks gained seven yards on that play. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's to the 40. Tackle at the 44. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Flipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. He's tackled at the 37. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Scrambling around. Tackle made around the 43-yard line. Nice run up the middle. Second down and six. Ball on the 48. Gets to around the 42. Runs it left for a decent game. So the halfback scampers for six on the toss. They're about four yards away here on second down.
Now he tries to buy some time. They'll make the sack. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. And he almost has the INT. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Nice run, and he's brought down. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Brought down at the 28. They come out in a five wide set. He fights forward to about the 30. Classic situational play calling. Running strong on third and short, it'll move the chains. From their own 30 yard line. First down. Up the middle for a nice game. They hand it off again. Tackle around the 39-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. They come out on an empty backfield. Caught with room to work. Excellent open field tackle. And he's tackled at the 48. This is the eighth play of this drive. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Fires quickly to the tight end. And down he goes at about the 29-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. He's out of bounds at the 28-yard line. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Catches it, and he's punished. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 13. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. 
And this is the 14th play of the drive. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And that's his second touchdown of the day. The defense has to come out and make a stop on the next drive so this offense can get to work again. They aren't out of this game yet. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 23. The Bulldogs fans have got to be going crazy. It looked like they had this one in hand or could put it out of reach, and they haven't been able to do it. This is a tough game for the fans to watch because their team was so dominant early in the game, and now they've just gone cold, and they've allowed the opponents to get right back into this game. They better find something here to be able to try to get out of here with a win. And he hits him hard at the 32. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Mississippi State with a two-point advantage. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And he's taken down around the 31-yard line. Now he's flushed and they got him. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Second and long. Ball on the 36. And it looks like this one's going to come down to the final quarter. Mississippi State's leading by two. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 23-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he's going to come up with a sack. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 23. They'll bring him down right around the 28-yard line. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 41. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. He fights forward to about the 43.
He's tackled in the open field. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. He's on the run. You know, for a safety, this guy has really good hands. I'm very surprised to see him drop an interception like that. Could come back to haunt his team as well. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. They hand it off. He takes it right side for a good game. A five-yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. And they get nice yardage on that run. From their own 45-yard line, first down. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Hand off to the right. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. He zips it out to the left. They knock it down, incomplete. Anytime you can prevent a third down conversion, you're doing something right. Solid coverage. Tackle made at the 26. This defensive end is having a very good day. Well, this guy, to me, is just a textbook example of leading by example. I'm talking about all throughout winter conditioning, spring ball, throughout the summer. The coaches tell us this was the guy. This is the guy that defined this football team. So it's no wonder that he stepped out and had a game like this. To me, this is just a classic example of just being bigger, faster, and stronger than the guy trying to block you. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Steps up. Got a man. Watch out here. And it's a whole new ball game.
This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. The kicker will stay on the sidelines for this extra point as the offense is going to stay on the field and try to make this a three-point game. Less than three minutes in the game. And they get the two. Alabama ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 27. The Bulldogs battled all game long, but it's not looking so good right now. Well, but remember, they're still within striking distance here. If they can put together a drive, they got a shot to win this game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He's got the corner. And he's tackled in the open field. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. run there they should continue to run the ball if they keep this up the defense will wear down very quickly first down 10 to go ball on the 40 yard line little handoff tackle made at the 38 yard line and he was pretty much stuffed on that run you know what that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum Just under two minutes in the game. He's going to try and scramble. And they got him. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. They'll spread the field with five wide. Brought down around the 48-yard line. in the middle he's at the 40 tackle at the 34 and this is the eighth play of the drive Quick throw. He gets hit out of bounds around the 33-yard line. From the 33-yard line, second down. He catches another one, and he's tackled around the 18-yard line. Mississippi State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He's scrambling. Brought down in the open field. Mississippi State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 15-yard line, second down. Under a minute left in the game. Touchdown! And now they're winning this ball game. 
late in the fourth quarter. One possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 21-yard line. Alabama's ranking, that doesn't mean anything right now. Now, they've not played up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And down he goes around the 23-yard line. It's second and eight. Ball on the 23. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds around the 24-yard line. just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight that might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game looks like they've decided to go for it here wow you just gotta love it for this defense they come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season and so now the ball's turned over on downs late in the fourth quarter in a one possession game and poise is what it's all about here who's going to have it and who won't we should just see the quarterback take a knee right here winding down the rest of this clock alabama will take a timeout that's their second of the half mississippi state is up four on the ground up the middle tackled after a decent pickup alabama's called their final timeout And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, Mississippi State, 26, Alabama, 22. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. you got to be really impressed with how much heart they showed in this victory. It's not a stretch to say they were outmanned. And the job they had to do to get this win was tough, but they pulled it off. Mississippi State forgot that the big underdog isn't supposed to win. And this wasn't easy. But they played with purpose. They played confidently. And that's how they came away with an upset win. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is